gonna break somebody real quick. Go to Sirach, chapter 33, and verse 14. Watch this, y'all. Watch this real quick, real quick. Sirach, chapter 33, verse 14. Good is set against evil. So it's only two types of people in this world. It's good and it's evil. It's only two types. There ain't no in between. It ain't no tomorrow I'm good. Then Sunday I'm 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 bad. God says good is set against evil. Watch this. Life against death. Life against death. So is the godly. So is the godly against the sinner. So how do you tell if you're godly or you're meant to be a sinner? How do you tell? Huh? Okay, what's your heart? This? Well, how do you know? Huh? <laughs> this is how you find out. We Sirach 39 and what is that? 24. The book of Sirach chapter 39 verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy. The scripture says that his commandments are plain to the holy. I mean if your spirit is godly when you hear thou shalt not and your mind, that's easy to do. <laughs> that, that's all I got to do? It, it's going to be easy for you to change. It's going to be natural. It's going to be easy. But sometimes that's got to happen. But the point is, now that you know the truth, now you got to repent. There, there you go. There you go. Read it from the top. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks. So to the holy is going to be easy to do. It's going to be stumbling blocks. What is a stumbling block doing? Huh? Right, it make you fall. Something, that, something that's over you, you trip over and fall, break your neck. God says his ways are stumbling blocks. So are his ways stumbling blocks unto the wicked. God says the wicked, they ain't going to want to do nothing, God says. That's why when brothers ask questions like, and no offense, but when brothers ask questions like, it's over 600 laws. How many laws are there in America? How many? It's over, it's over thousands and thousands of laws. But we still keep them. You saw everybody stop at that stop sign right there? What would happen if you run that stop sign? You're going to get judged for You get a ticket. You get a car accident. But we don't understand that. God's law. Hold, hold that. Give me First John. <laughs> First John 5 and 3 real quick. First John 5 and 3. Watch this, y'all. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So love is an action word. Would y'all agree? Love is an action. I can't say I love you and I'm slapping you upside your head every night. Baby, I love you. Baby, but I love you. Don't make no damn sense. Love is an action where it's a verb. If I say I love you, I got to show forth my actions to show you that I love you. Right. So we say we love God. God is looking for action. Right. Read on. By, th for this is the love of God that we keep his commandment. The action is keeping God's commandments. Watch this. And his commandment. And that action, that verb, are not grievous. God says it's not even hard for you to do. Right. I'm giving you commandments on how to live and I didn't make it hard for you right. at all. You see what I'm saying? Go back. So it's easy for us to keep God's commandments. To the godly, they're easy. To the godly, they're easy. But to the wicked, it's impossible for them to keep. Right. It's impossible for them to settle down with one woman, marry that woman, have kids, take care of their kids. It's impossible. It's impossible. Read. Sirach chapter 39, verse 24. Yeah. As his ways are plain unto the holy... So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked? Now jump to, uh, what is that? 21, 19. Chapter 21, verse 19. Chapter 21, verse 19, and then I'm going to give it back to you, bro. <laughs> 21, verse 19. Watch this. Sirach, chapter 21, verse 19. Yep. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters. What is fetters? Anybody know what fetters are? Fetters. Fetters. It's yep. Fetters, F-E-T-T-E-R. It's like chains. It's like you're being bound in chains. You locked up. It says doctrine, God's laws, is like chains. Doctrine unto fools is like fetters on the feet. God says his commandments to a fool is like being in jail. 
Right. It's like being a slave. It's like, man, I can't stand this. God, I got to keep the Sabbath day. God, I got to wear a dress. God, I got to uncover my head. Damn. I got to get married. Damn, man, I'm, you, can, you can miss with that Bible stuff. But God says when, when it's like that, that's because you're a fool. Go ahead, brother. No, but I got to go. I just want to know, you read the book of Sirach? Yes, Ecclesiasticus and Apocrypha. Yeah. You ever heard of Apocrypha? Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. Yep. You read it. You read it. <laughs> No, no, go ahead, go ahead. What, what? No, 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 because I the thing. Well, that's the thing. The is, you see the 1611? You got the 1611 right here? Give me that 1611. You got 1611? This is a 1611 Bible. The is in the, is in here. It was taken out by the Protestant church. The Apocrypha is in the Bible. There you go. And who you think took it out? <laughs> why you think they took it out to confuse the hell out of Negroes right. and Hispanics right. that's why they did it to confuse the hell out of us but now we got it though we got it though we got it right here we understand what it's talking about and we understand why they did it they, I'm telling you they're genius they did it for a reason so that we won't understand the Bible ain't no way hell you can open the book and start from the middle right. you can't start from the end because I would you got to get the full understanding. So you got to have the old, the apocryphal, and the new. Ain't no way hell you can start from the end. Because that's what Christian church say. Start from Matthew. Well, what about Deuteronomy? What about uh, First Kings? What about Genesis? They tell you to start from the middle. You'll never get to understand that. You'll never get to understand that. Obviously, like, you know, yeah, you get baptized. Watch this. Get Ephesians. It ain't no water, though. It ain't no water. I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. Through, through the Spirit of the Most High Christ. Get Ephesians real quick. Because baptism... Water does not save you. Right. I know that's what we've been taught our whole life. Got to be baptized in water. You go down a crackhead, you come up a wet crackhead. Right. You go down a whoremonger, you come up a wet whoremonger. Right. Come on, brother. <laughs> I, think, I know brothers that have been baptized ten times. Come on, bro. <laughs> that made no sense. You see what I'm saying? This, this is the baptism that God is talking about. Read. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse it and cleanse you with the washing of the water with the washing of water watch what the water is by the word by, by the word so repentance is baptism right. turning from your wicked ways is baptism right. that's, that's what baptism is Yeah, that, that's what baptism is. It's returning away. The water can't change you. Our praise, brother. Hey, brother, call that number. I see you got a lot of questions. You got a lot of concerns, brother. We here. We here to answer all your questions, bro. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nothing that you can tell me that I ain't never heard before. We got brothers from all walks of life. Every walk of life, bro. We got brothers that done did it all. So what you going through? It ain't nothing new, bro. We all been through it, and we all still going through it. Well, it's in Pompano Beach. It's in Pompano. It's not too far. That ain't far from y'all. I'm going to tell you something. This I know it ain't that far. If I wanted to go hit a girl at 4 o'clock in the morning, I'd drive three, three, three hours to go hit it. And she's going to be up waiting. <laughs> she gonna be up waiting. All right, she gonna be up waiting. Come on, man. You come on now. It ain't it, it, it ain't too far to go serve the Lord, bro. There you go. Give me that in Baruch. Four twenty eight. Who said it? Yeah, give me that. Watch this. Right, cause you're right. If if, if you do that for Satan, you ain't gonna do double for God. Right. Make it up. That ain't the point. 
<laughs> no, no, I know. I, I know how sisters are. I know how sisters are. They ask questions like that. I understand that, but that's not even. If that's the case, then all praise it. You want to do it for Satan? All praise to the Most High. Right. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Baruch. Chapter 4, verse 28. Bring it up. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, so being returned. So being returned. So now y'all understand who y'all is. Y'all understand how to please God. So being returned to the Father. Seek him ten times. How many? Ten times more. God says you got to seek him ten times harder. That's right. Acts 17 to 30. You got to seek him ten times harder. Because now that y'all know, Y'all gonna be held accountable for Ooh. Y'all didn't understand what y'all did. Oh Ted. Y'all didn't understand what what what, what y'all just got into. Well brother, this, this, this can be your last. Right. right. This could be your last. God the most I sent y'all here for a reason. Right. Sent you here for a reason. You see what I'm saying? Get, uh, 17 to 30, right? The book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 30. Yeah. And the times of this ignorant, God winked at. God winked at our ignorance. Meaning when we didn't know, he winked at it. All right, you know. Is, is it like a child? A child mess up? All right, all right, whatever. Get your, just, psh, go sit your behind down over there. You know what I'm saying? You good. But watch this. But now. But now. Commanded all men everywhere to repent. God says, now that y'all know, ain't no more weakening. Ain't no more weekend, right? Hey, my, my baby, I got four kids. My kids got two times. That's it, I give them two. Sometimes one, depending how I am. <laughs> depending on the severity of the action. <laughs> so, sometimes you just, you see something, you just, oh yeah, I gotta address it now. But you may give your, your child twice. And then after that time, you got to tear that butt up. I told you. Yeah, they're gonna be rotten. God is the same way. He's a father. He's our father. Job 33, 14. Job 33, 14. Th thank you, brother. Priest up king over there, y'all. All praises. So God, God is our father. Just like we deal with our kids, he deal with us the same way. And when we don't do right, you know what he do? He tie our butts up. Right. He tear our rump up. Right. That's why they don't want us to believe in whooping. They want our, our children to grow up and just do it. Wow. They tell us. They take your child and they do it. Mm, why? Why, why y'all think that? Why? There you go. Right. There you go, bro. Hey, bro, you, you, I can't say it no better than that. <laughs> well, watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a scripture on that. Go to Sirach chapter 30. Go to Sirach chapter 30. Cause what y'all got kids together? One daughter. All praises. That's a beautiful thing. Now all y'all missing is what? What y'all missing? That's it. That's all y'all missing. How long y'all been together? Oh, God. I'm going to tell you, black folks, I'm going to be real with y'all. Black folks will be together for 30 years. Right. And won't never marry each other. <laughs> we done got great, great kids. We got right. great kids. Still ain't married. Be dead and gone. Ain't got no marriage license. You see what I'm saying, bro? We were, we was in that same predicament, bro. We was in, we was in the same predicament. Uh, read that. Sirach 30 and verse three. The book of Sirach, chapter 30, verse three. He that teaches his son grieveth the enemy. It say he that teaches his son. It's talking about the woman too. He that teaches their children grieveth the enemy. Because now you teach your son not to be no dope dealer. Right. Not to be no game banger. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not to be no murderer, no killer. Right. You teach your daughter not to be no thot. Right. You know, these days, it's like, damn, they start early. Kinder, right. Kindergarten. Right. Yeah, they teaching the twerk, teaching the kids. I seen this video. Uh, yeah, I seen this video. The little girl, her daddy was recording her. The little girl was in the uh, car kissing the mirror. Like she was making out with the mirror. And I said, damn, if that's my daughter, I'd have, oh, I'd have told that ass to the white man. She was making, yes. Yes, she done seen it. She done did it. She looked like she was making out with the mirror. There you go. 
There you go. But so, you know, Scripture say he that teaches their kids grieveth the enemy. Go back to what we was, how you doing, brother? All right. I go, see you guys on YouTube. Go back. All the time. I see you guys on YouTube. On prison. Go back to the, what I had you? Yeah. They do. Yeah, yeah the Lord judges, the Lord judges through our children. Absolutely. Absolutely. He says that. But I got a question kind of off topic. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, all right, all right. Go, go ahead, brother. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? I, I didn't get your name, bro. Marquay. Yeah. All right, I'm dead. What's your name, sister? Jalicia Marquay. What's your name, brother? Mikael. Mikael, Marquay, Jalicia. All right, what's your question, Mikael? Uh, so, story about how to be in the Okay. Like what? Like, that's what hurts them, right? That's the first thing. That's the first thing. Yeah. Once they get the apple, that's the first thing. Ah, man. It wasn't an apple. It was sex. No, it wasn't sex. Let's just get right to it real quick. Let's go to Genesis chapter 3. Let's just get right to it where, where the Lord is talking to the woman, talking to Eve. This, this, is the, this is the reason why as they say mankind I gotta put the quotations on it cause it ain't what it's really talking about but that's a lot that's heavy to go into right now give me that when he talking to the woman uh da, 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 verse 6 verse 17 the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 17 we're gonna read this I'm gonna give you a brief summary of what happened and unto Adam he said because thou hearkenest unto the voice of thy wife. So what did Eve do to Adam? What did Eve bring to Adam? Okay, the, the fruit, right? And she caused Adam to do what? To eat it, which was sin. Right? So, read it again. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hearkenest unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. So now go back, go to chapter 2, and we're going to get what happened. 3 verse 2. Watch this. I want y'all pay attention. The book of, uh -huh. okay, okay. of Genesis chapter 3 verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the trees which is in the midst of this serpent is talking about Satan. They talk about no snake, slithering, it's talking about the devil, Satan. Let's talk about Satan, right? Read it again. But of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said we should not eat of it. So Eve is telling Satan, all right, God says we ain't supposed to eat that. Right. This is what God said. We ain't supposed to touch that over there. Watch this. Neither shall we touch it lest we die. Lest we die. Watch this. And the serpent said unto and Satan told Eve, said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Watch this. For God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God. What does that mean? What did he tell Eve? That she was going to be like who? Who was God? Adam. Adam was Lord. Remember it says Adam, Lord of all thy creatures? Give me that. In, uh, no, sec second Ezra, give me that in Ezra's. Second Ezra. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. That's why I'm like, I'm like doing this deep. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to get it real quick. Second Ezra 624. The same thing that happened then is happening today. The same as that thing. Watch this. Watch this. Adam uh, 654. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 54. And after these, Adam. Adam. Also, whom thou madest Lord. Lord. Adam was a Lord. Adam was a God on earth. He was God on earth. He was God. He was the Lord of all the creatures. Read it, read it, read it again. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Adam was made God on earth. Go ahead. No mistakes. I'm about to, I'm, we about to get to it. <laughs> we about to get to it. We about to get, we build it up. We about to get to it. Go back to Genesis. Go back to Genesis. Uh, read, read where you was at. Uh, nope, go, yep, chapter three and verse two. Nope, 
Verse 3. Listen. So Adam was God on earth. Now read it again. Genesis chapter 3, verse 5. For God doeth... Verse, verse 4. Verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doeth know, in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. Watch this. And ye shall be as God. Who was God? She, he, the Satan told the woman she can be like who? Who? Uh -uh. Remember, who was God on earth? It was Adam. Satan told the woman. Hold on. The, God the Father. We had God the Father. Adam, her Lord. Her husband. There you go. Right. The, Satan told the woman. Hell, don't God is lying. If you do this, you can be like your husband. Right. You can be as God. He deceived her because she wanted to be like her husband. Right. It's the same thing that's going on today. Right. It's the same thing that's going on today. The, the, the black Hispanic woman want to be equal with the black Hispanic man. Right. That's not the case. Ain't no 50-50. Right. I don't know if you ever heard of her. Ain't no 50-50 in the Bible. Right. From the beginning of time, it was always meant for the man to lead the woman. But Adam fell through who? Through, through the woman. Let's get, give me that. Give me that. And what is that, Peter's? Right. No. Right, he got deceived by, no, what is that, Peter's, right? What says that Adam wasn't deceived? I know you're talking about yeah, yeah. Peter's what? 412. 412? Yeah. Watch this. Watch, hold on. Uh, 1 Timothy 214. So, so you understand? You understand what? I got Yeah, go ahead. Right, he don't. Adam On earth, yeah. On earth. Because he gave in to his wife. Oh, it's possible. It, it's possible. Remember, everything was already ordained to happen. That set up. That that was already. It, it was already ordained for that to happen. Yeah. It's, yeah. To do what? To do what? But you got to do what to get the kingdom now? Okay. You got to keep the commandments. Yeah. All, all that all that happened for you to repent. Right. <laughs> all of those sequence of events happened for us to repent. Right. Give me that in Baruch. Oh, so the commandment was broke before Adam and Eve. Well, it was broke. Adam and Eve broke it. Yeah, they broke the commandments. That's why now we die. In the beginning, we was always meant to be immortal. Live forever. Baruch chapter 4. Yeah, but that remember Adam and Eve, that's the beginning of time. That was before the, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, but that, that had nothing to do. That had nothing to do. You're talking about Romans 9. That, that had nothing to do with Adam and Eve. The book of Baruch. Chapter 4, verse 6. Ye were sold unto the nations, not for your destruction. Not for, we was here not for us to completely die off. As you can see, we, we in during the time of slavery, slave trade, we was down by the millions. How are we still here? Think about it, bro. If the white man would have went through what we went through, they'd have been extinct. Right. God says, I put you through this not to completely destroy you, Reed. It's just like a child. You whoop your, you don't whoop your child to kill him. You whoop your child to, okay, now, okay, you know, discipline. Now you know I don't like you doing that. Right, right. Read. Not for your destruction, but because he moved God to wrath. Because we angered the Lord. Worshiping other gods, breaking the commandments, right. not following the, like, not keeping the Sabbath day, letting the woman rule over us. Breaking the commandments. Read. He were delivered unto your enemy. Because we moved the Lord to wrath, that's how we was delivered. That's why we was delivered to our enemies. That's why. 
serve our enemies. Yep, we're going to serve our enemies, and we're still serving them today. Right. You got a question, brother? Yeah, yeah. I saw you. I saw you. I, I see that look on your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I want to get this on the floor, too. So, so I was trying to, like, explain this to my family. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, maybe you guys can do that. Since, like, I remember I was being in the I know it says that uh, he gave us commandments on the game. Psalms 119. I'm sorry, one one yeah, one forty seven. Uh-huh. My question is like, are the Israelites the only people who can sin? Like are they the only people who can sin? Because the only gave to the Israelites, that means that like, you know, we're the people who keep the laws and we're the Oh, get Amos three first. Amos three. Amos three. Bring it out. Amos chapter three. His commandments were initially given to us, yes. But eventually the whole world gonna have to keep them. Whether they white, Chinese, Japanese, Asian, the whole world gonna have to keep them. Amos 3 and 1. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word which the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So he's starting off with the children of Israel, the blacks and spreaders and native Indians. Read on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt saying, you only, you only, have I known of all families of the earth. So God says, I only know the children of Israel out of all the families on the earth. Right. And because he only knows us, watch what he does. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. It's just like, I got kids. Y'all got a daughter. You got, you got kids? Okay. It's just like, I'm going to use me for example. My kid, I take my daughter to the park. It's 20 kids at the park. I tell my daughter, uh, Anaya, don't go swing on that swing. But then she goes to swing on it, but she's on it with 20 other kids. Am I going to punish everybody? Or I'm going to punish her. Why? Because I told my daughter not to do what? Don't swing on that swing. And she broke my commandment. I can't hold them accountable because they they not mine. Those not my kids. The same thing with the Lord. But in that day, in that day, everybody going to get it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. To die. He created to be servants. Give me that Leviticus. Give me that Leviticus. Hey, hold on, hold on, bro. I got a question for you, bro. You asked me a question, I'll ask you a question. Let me answer the brother's question, and I got a question for you. Leviticus, was it, 25? 44. Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verse 45. Yeah. Moreover, the children of the strangers. The children of the strangers is all the other nations. Right. Read. That do sojourn among you. Of them, of them shall ye buy. God says they were supposed to be your slaves. Right. Read on. And of their families. Of their families. That are with you, which begot which they begot in your land and they shall be your possession if <laughs> if a white man is my possession what is he to me he my slave that's right these other nations was meant to be slaves that's right but because of our disobedience now now we're the slaves remember it said Deuteronomy says you you shall become the tail they shall become the head the stranger of us you shall get very high, and we was gonna get very low. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.